we're staying on the uh, with our library champions. Um, and our next speaker is uh, Shalonya Turner, uh, who's worked in public libraries for over 18 years and is currently the associate director at the Ann Arbor District Library in Michigan, USA. Um, she enjoys talking on large projects, both professionally and personally, and describes herself on her blog as someone who cooks a lot, sews a little, and is trying to savor her, her son's childhood. Um, she says she's prone to eavesdropping, but she recycles, putting all those extra words into new stories. I love that quote. Um, so she's gonna be performing Closed Doors, Open Opportunities. Thank you. Um, let me just get this slide up. All right, so here we go. Like so many other people, we found ourselves at the public library um, facing the fact that we were going to have to close our doors, um, which is something that we're, we're, that's the opposite of what we do, right? We always want to have the most open doors possible. We're used to thousands of people coming through our doors all of the time. And this guy here, what's he doing here? Warren Harding, he's the guy who uh, popularized the word normalcy. And normalcy is a thing that we decided that we wanted to bring to our library patrons, even though they wouldn't be able to come through our doors like usual. Enter AADL-TV. That is our um, YouTube channel. We owned the URL AADL.TV and that's where this name came from. And we decided that what we were gonna do is bring programs and um, other interesting things to our patrons when they could not walk through our doors. What you see here right now is our uh, day one of AADL TV that happened just a few days after we realized that we needed to close. Um, and this was in March when our students were about to have a spring break. Um, and so we knew that parents were expecting this time with their kids at home and they, they expect activities from us, which we usually deliver. Um, so what you'll notice is that we had story time, a hands-on activity, and then, um, and then our bummer game, which is a spinoff of a summer game activity that we do every summer. Um, so story time for our youngest users, they are used to coming to the library every day for their parents. They are used to bringing their kids to the library all of the time. And we knew that this was the first thing that was going to be super important to a lot of our audience. So that was the first thing that we made sure that we offered. I am very proud to say that we learned through the grapevine by grapevine, I mean, internet that our story times allowed at least one pair of parents to have a little bit of personal time um, in their lives. And if we can provide that, that is meeting our goal to provide some normalcy. These are just some little clips from some other things that we provided at, the, at first. We were so much thinking about the pandemic itself and a lot of our programs represented that and, and mentioned that directly. But we also wanted to make sure that people didn't lose the other thing that they're used to from their library, that gathering space. And so we knew that we weren't going to be able to provide that in the way that people are used to, but we were going to be able to take things that people were missing and turn them into our own events. For example, um, when the big basketball tournament couldn't happen, we did uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons bracket um, so people could get that competition um, going. We also had a number of meetups that we never would have been able to have in normal times. This was um, this was our dog meetup. We can't bring a bunch of dogs into the library, uh, but we were able in this different time to uh, bring dogs and their love their owners um, together. And we knew that our patrons would be missing their sports. And so one of our um, one of our staff members put together a um, simulated league. Uh, so that people could get that sports fix. They could get that touch of something that they would have had otherwise. This is our, this is Toby. Uh, he was our sports caster and the mastermind behind this. So one of the things that happened is that as we were thinking about the different ways to try to provide a touch of what people were used to at the public library, it was mutating a little bit, right? Like we were looking at um, how, how is YouTube different than programming in the public space. And then we were um, stretching and growing and shaping ourselves to this new, um, this new way of doing things. And that's where the Saturday show was born. And the Saturday show is a variety show. Let me just show you some images from it. That's intended for children, but really it took from all of the strings of the normalcy that we tried to create um, during this time. And it is its own thing. And it's th these ways of producing and thinking and collaborating that we will um, that we will take with us as we move into the future that will never be the same as the world that we left before. Thank you very much.